What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Galloman20. Welcome back. And as you guys know, if you watched a previous video, that this is the follow up to that tutorial. And this is where I'm going to be showing you how to place the evidence markers that I did and also how to use police tape itself. So, in the beginning, I'm going to show you guys how to install the plastic evidence markers in GTA 5 and then also. After that, I will be showing you guys how to place it. So, first things first, you're going to need to install Map Builder. If you guys don't have Map Builder installed, you're going to head over to my previous video down in the description that shows you how to install Map Builder, which is essential for using Menu. And after you guys are done with that, jump back over here and then show you how to install everything else. So, first things first, you're going to need Open 4. You're going to go and click on Windows for GTA 5. And after that is all done, then you are going to go to your mods folder. Go to mods, you're going to go to update x64 DLC packs, and then you're going to go and find map builder. Now, of course, I have a ton of mods in here, but you guys probably won't have that many. So you're going to go to DLC, go to objects.rpf, and after that, you're basically in the folder that you just need to drag and drop. Because right here, if I go type in RIL, it's going to bring up every single one of the mods that I just installed here. So what you're going to do, you don't need to type that in. I just typed it in for you. You're just going to take these files, you're going to drag and drop it into that folder right there. And then also you're going to drag and drop builderdef.ytyp and manif manifest.ymf inside there as well. So all those files are in there. Uh, let me just type it in for you, just so you guys know, you see it. And then Builder right there as well. So it's all in there. You're just going to override it with the files that you have in there. You're going to launch up GTA 5, and I'll see you guys on the other side. OK, now that you made it into GTA 5, I made a little area right here by the parking lot underground uh, by Pillbox Hill. And what you guys are going to do is you're going to launch up your Rage plugin hook if you have not already. You're going to go ahead, load plugin, police tape, and it should load in really fast. And of course, for me, it's going to tell me that I'm part of the Parks Benefactor program. And, um, so now, now that you have that loaded, you are going to open the menu with control G. Control G has the entire police tape menu already there for you. Uh, and also if you're part of the Parks Benefactor program, it will tell you what your rank is in his Discord. So, first things first, if you guys want to use continuous mode, that is fine and dandy. I have never used continuous mode at all yet. so. I'm going to just go ahead and use the ones that I'm used to. So I'm going to use static tape. Static tape is a new feature in police tape because before it used to have like this mesh type of thing where it would fly in the wind and then it wouldn't work. It would go underground. So he, he improved it. He got static tape to work and that's in this update. So you automatically want to toggle static tape on if you guys would like to use it for different scenarios. Uh, you could also use the default if you would like as well. So static tape is there. So alternate texture. Alternate texture is the police tape itself. That's the yellow and the black. And if you want to use, for whatever reason, the other tape, which is the red and the white, you guys can go use that as well. Just don't toggle alternate texture or else you're going to use the police tape itself. So for me, I'm going to use alternate texture because this is like a crime scene area pretending to be uh, that I shut down. So you're just going to go ahead and if you want to enable traffic control, that basically stops all the vehicles and pedestrians crossing and it's very self-explanatory. So I'm just going to go ahead and start placing the tape. Keep in mind, you want to pay attention to this very, very helpful tip when you're placing the barriers because I know I'm going to get comments about this. If you guys are not paying attention and I see your comment, I'm going to call you out um, because that's what I do. So what I noticed when I did the first initial thing of police tape, I went left to right. What you guys want to do is you want to go right to left. 
Why? I have no clue. But for some reason, when I went right to left, the barrier actually worked. So when I go like this, and I go like this, okay, okay, that that's just a fail. Back out of that menu. You want to make sure that it actually is yellow. There you go. And then go over, and then hold it again. There you go. Police tape, right like that. So, of course, you're going to be able to walk through it. These guys will not. And it has a radius. So I'm going to go like this. I'm going to place it here. And I'm going to place it here. And then if I place it here, and place it here, nobody should be able to walk through that path. Now, of course, people coming from this direction will be able to walk through the police tape. But if you have that area blocked off, they will not be able to. So you want to make sure if you guys don't want anybody coming through, you have all areas blocked off that you would like. So I'm just going to go ahead and block this all off. And here's a thing that I know I'm going to get a question about. I'm going to place this on a trash can and then I'm going to place it on this car right here on the car window as if it was like wrapped around it okay that was a fail okay now that that is done and you guys understand it basically with the police tape it's all good so I put out a scenario so that way we can go into the next one which is placing the plastic evidence markers so first things first I'm just gonna go ahead and use the static tape and the police tape to block off this little section right here now of course we're gonna go right to left for pedestrians and it didn't pick it up there you go and we'll just put it on this pole right here if it wants to do it for us there you go so it kind of glitched through the vehicle we're gonna move the vehicle up just a little bit that way it's officially blocked off and then now we're gonna go inside of menu go down to object spooner we're gonna go to spooner mode and go to spawn entity into the world go to object go to search and type in RIL RIL is going to bring up or is it what okay it's lowercase my caps lock or something was on so just type in R okay why is it not popping up for some reason typing in RIL does not do it but I have it saved as a favorite and here you go so we got a person stabbed and we're gonna place the evidence marker right there <laughs> for some freaking reason I'm just gonna place it right there that's the evidence marker we're gonna place several around here for the different trash and there you go that's how you place the evidence markers using menu very easy and there's nothing else I really need to show in this um, there is only six of them so you're gonna have to be I guess careful about what you place or you can just be like me and place any of them anywhere doesn't matter if they had the same number or not um, I wish there was at least up to 10 on the numbers so that way you can place double digits after that. Uh, other than that, hope you guys have a great rest of your night and I will see you guys in the next one. I'm out of here. Peace.